All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Coastal Living. We are very excited to visit with a good friend of mine, Miss Stephanie Gonzalez, here to talk about her business, Poppin' Jars. Thanks for joining me, Stephanie. Hey, Clarissa. How's it going? It's great. And I'm excited because in these interviews, it's been very face to face, but it looks like you have some show and tell for us here. Tell us a about little bit and how it got started. Uh, well, uh, Poppin' Jars, we started about three years ago. We had our first farmer's market in 2017. And um, it first started with our Sofia Sosita and our jalapeno jelly. And that basically got us started. And it's been a fun ride ever since. <laughs> awesome. And so you felt you started with the spicy stuff, which is good. That's what we naturally gravitate towards. But these are jellies, right? So what is it that got you into it? What made you decide one day, like, I'm going to make fancy jellies? Well, my mother first several years ago started giving, a, started making the jalapeno you know, jelly and was just giving them away during Christmas just as gifts, you know, and um, I made it with her one Christmas and I was like, oh my gosh, I think people would really like this. And during that time of Portland, I live in Portland, and they just introduced the farmer's market to it. So I thought like, hey, great start. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. So uh, we came up with another jelly which was our pop and bubbly, which is the champagne jelly. And uh, we had the jalapeno jelly and the salsita. And um, it, it was a big hit. Everybody loved it. They ended up uh, going crazy for it, actually. So, yeah. Good. Well, I'm happy to hear it. It's a great success story coming from something that you're obviously passionate about. So, besides, you got jalapeno, and then we went over to bubbly. So, tell me, what kind of flavors are we looking at, and how are we eating this jelly? Okay, so um, I got the pop and bubbly, which is champagne, and then I also have my basic witch jelly, which is pumpkin spice. Yeah. And with that one, um, that one's pretty versatile. You can use it with the cream cheese and crackers, just like the jalapeno jelly, or you can use it with the um, cream cheese and honey graham crackers, just or one of these. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, I've made pumpkin pie tarts with it, with just the pre-made dough in a, in a mini, mini muffin pan, and that works out very well. My office party, um, that, that was a big hit. <laughs> nice. Very cool. So you have a variety of other flavors. Give me a little rundown of what we're looking at here. Okay, so uh, the top row, the salsita, the jalapeno, the pop and bubbly, my basic witch, and then I also have my jam and Rita jelly, which is a margarita jelly, tequila, and orange liqueur in it. Um, I also have blue raspa jelly, which if you ever had a blue snow cone, a blue coconut snow cone, that's what that flavor tastes like. And I have my La Flor jelly, which I'm very proud of because it's so beautiful, and that is my lavender jelly. And this pretty red one right here is my pop and red jelly, and I make this one with big red soda. And um, this one, I, we started dabbling in some wine jellies, and this is my Pinot, my Pop and Pinot jelly. It's made with uh, Pinot Noir, and uh, I don't have any on hand right now, but I did make a rosé jelly for this past Loca event, so, and that was a big hit, so that I don't have any more right now. I need to make more. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad to hear you're selling out of these, and when I think jelly, I think, like, peanut butter jelly, but I forget that there's also these, like, charcuterie boards that people are putting together, and that's where we have an opportunity to put these unique flavors, right? That's correct. Um, I, I, my goal for this is to introduce these items to your parties and put it on your display boards, on your charcuterie, your charcuterie displays with cheeses and your meats and your veggies and, you know, your, your fruits and stuff like that. These jellies are perfect uh, addition to those boards. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And if you're one that likes to show off to your friends, clearly these are great conversation starters. Like, oh, where did you get a blue raspa jelly from? Well, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. right. We're happy to see you present at the festivals and the farmer's markets. Um, how else can we go about getting an order from you? Where can we see more? Well, we are currently working um, on getting a website together. So that is um, in the works. Uh, but for right now, if you want to place an order, uh, you're more than welcome to direct message me either through uh, my phone number. Uh, you can email me at poppinjars at gmail.com or you can visit our Instagram page and our Facebook pages and you just just message me directly and you can get an order on the, uh, on the books for you. So Awesome. Okay, so tell me what are your most popular flavors for someone who's going to put in their first order? We need to know like what do the people love already? Okay, well, if you're a Sweet Heat fan, the jalapeno jelly, you can't go wrong with it. Block of cream cheese and some Ritz crackers, you're good to go. Um, otherwise, um, the next popular flavor is definitely our champagne jelly. 
And what I like to eat with that is a, a freshly sliced baguette with uh, some brie cheese. And that pairs very well with it. So nice. And do we have any like package deals if you get so many for a certain price or are they all sold individually? Um, they, um, if you, I will, first off, if you live in the Corpus uh, area, I will deliver for free. You purchase four jars. Nice. Okay. That is a minimum of four jars. Yes. And I also am doing a little special offer that if you mention, mention this segment, uh, then you will get 10% off your order. All right, girl. Yes. yes. We love a discount. <laughs> That's right. right now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm so excited to learn more about this business. I think it's so important, especially now for us to support local. Now we know to keep an eye out for you at these local festivals and farmers markets. Congratulations on your success, Stephanie. And um, it really is exciting to see some, like to, to hear the story about when that light bulb went off and to see it come to fruition. And here you have a beautiful display of flavors and clearly you're very passionate about it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Clarissa. Awesome. And one more time, tell our viewers where they can go to grab their own bottle. All right. You can visit uh, our Facebook pages. At, if you just go to facebook.com forward slash poppin jars or visit our Instagram page, it's poppin jars, poppin underscore jars uh that's our handle for instagram and our email is poppinjars at gmail.com or you can even text message me or call me my number is 361-542-6239 awesome thank you stephanie so much for your time and congratulations we'll be popping jars together real soon all right that's right and don't forget you can't have a popping party without popping jars <laughs> i like that thank you thanks